So hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my Road to Tungeable Slayer episode number 8. So we're going to kick this series off by grabbing our next task from Morvran. Hopefully it's a decent one. And we get Calphites, which no, I don't really want to do at the moment. Um, so I'm going to cancel them and obviously try and get something a bit more enjoyable to do and something more convenient for me. So gonna grab another task now and we get Eret, so I'll be right back when I've done with this task. So then Eret's have been completed, um, I love this task, really enjoy this task for the uh, XP gain and also the GP gain as we'll see when I open the press checker here now. So we'll see how much we've made during this task, adding in all the noted items as per usual and then obviously the bones last. Um, no um, Razorback Gauntlets again this task, so I'm quite a few tasks dry but a good 1.7 mil made. So it's time to grab our next assignment and hopefully we get something good and we get Avian Seas which is my last actual um, assignment that I need for me to put on to my prefer list which is now complete so that is awesome anyway I'll be back once I've done that task. So not a bad start to this Armadale task, 27, 28k in and we get a chain skirt which is pretty sweet so yeah, I'm going to carry on with this task and see if we get any other drops. And there we go guys, that is the Avian Sea task complete, just going to pop to the max guild real quick now. That task only really took me around an hour, so it wasn't too bad. We got ourselves an Armadale Chain Skirt and a Shard 2 in the process. So I'll open up the price check it, add in the loot, and we shall start our dailies for today. We'll get our dark, daily Dark Beasts and Abyssal Demons, and then we can start slaying normally again. So that Armadale task came to 6.4 mil, nice task to have. 64 room bars just from the KC, so that is really lucky. Anyway, I'm going to grab my Dark Beast Helm and head to Morvaran and grab my daily Dark Beast task. So there we go, that is my Dark Beast task complete. Going to grab my Mask of the Abyss out the bank and crack on with my daily Abyssal Demon task. So we that is now task number 2030 and we gained 100 points, which is alright. Not going to price check anything in the inventory because I don't think it's worth it. Um, wasn't a few items, only a few items that I did pick up. So yep, I'm going to grab my mask and carry on with my Abyssal Demon task, so I'll see you when I complete that task. Right then, so Abbey Demons have been finished, I'm going to open up the press check, I'll press check what I have in my inventory, I did bank a bunch of Tooth and Loop Halves as well as Rune Helms, so obviously these won't be included in the press check. So overall, with the stuff in our inventory it came to 322k, and then if we just inspect the gem bag, we got one Sapphire. 24 rubies, 13 diamonds and 7 dragon stones that task which is pretty good. So yeah, I'm going to hand in my um, contract now to the guy by the Slayer Tower and then head back to Morvaran and hopefully we can get like a Glacier or Automated Demon task. That would be quite nice because I haven't had one of them in a while. So I shall see you when I get there. Right then, so here we go for our new task. And 215 Greater Demons, not too bad, off to Zami and hopefully we can get some more loot to add to the loot tab. So yep, I'll see you when I either get a drop or after I finish my first um, one hour of Zami. So here we go guys, that is the first one hour of this Zami task completed. I got myself two shards, a shard two and a shard one. And then we'll pop in the noted items right now. Got quite a few Lantodyne seeds and herbs, which is pretty cool. So that first inventory was 1.7 mil. I've had no drops so far though. So hopefully this next trip I can get a few items or one item at least. So there we go guys. That is the Zami task done. I think it was 215 I had. Just going to get out of here now. Just go to the max guild real quick. Um, we didn't get any Zami items in any parts of subjugation or anything like that. So it was a pretty, um, pretty poor trip um, in general, but still made up for it by getting obviously the normal drops like the lance and stuff like that uh, made quite a bit on them got another 12 of that inventory as well got a couple of ring of wealth drops like 34 clean snapdragons and 1.4k pure s um, but overall that was another basically 1.1 mil added with the other inventory around what 2.5 mil possibly um, from that zami task pretty poor but nonetheless, it is another task complete, and we are another step closer to 200 mil Slayer. So yeah, I'm going to be back at Morvran in a minute and grab my next task. So here we are, back at Morvran, and um, we're going to get my next task. So hopefully we get something like Glaze Wars Automated Demons. I haven't had them in a few tasks, so that'd be nice to have. 
And um, we get 242 warp means. Ah, uh, <laughs> no thank you. That is going on the cancel. I hate warp fiends. I don't really need the crimson charms, even though I need to get 200 more summoning. Uh, but I'm skipping that task because it's boring. And we get 265 dark beasts. That's a sweet task to have. Um, so yep, yeah, gonna crack on with that one. See you in a bit. And there we go. That is my uh, dark beast task complete. And as you can see in my inventory, I got two dark rows. So that is dark row numbers 59 and numbers 60 for the tab so that's pretty cool so we're gonna head back to more brand here we are now and obviously open up the price checker um we've got a few ring of wealth items like the rune arrows the dragon dagger and the pure s amongst some of the rune items as well as well as a dragon stone and then finally the two dark bows bringing the total to 368k and as i said before dark bows number 59 and 60 bank now which is pretty cool hopefully we can hit 100 before i get 200 mil i think that's possible anyway let's grab my next task 229 Dagonoths, that is an epic task to start with tomorrow, but for now I'm going to head to bed because it is late for me and then start that Dagonoth King task tomorrow morning and hopefully we can get some good loot from it. So yeah, I'll see you in the morning guys. Take care. Alright then, just finishing off this last Dagonoth King for the task. So that's all the all the Dagonoths I did at DK's obviously. So we're going to head back to the Max Guild now and look at my notepad and see what drops I did get from multiple trips. and pop that all into one inventory and do a one big price check of the loot. Alright then, so I've looked at my notepads and I've taken out all the items that I did get over that Dagonoth task and added it all into the inventory. It makes a total of 11.1 mil. Got two hatchets and a Zerka, so that wasn't too bad. A load of water talismans as well, which is pretty sweet. Anyway, I'm going to get a new task right now. Right then, so we're back at Morvaran and I decided to do my daily Dark Beast task and we get 221 to kill, so not too bad. I'll be back when I'm done. Alrighty then, just to finish my daily Dark Beast task, I'm going to head back to Morvran now to grab my daily Abyssal Demon task to crack on with that one. Not going to bother price checking any of the loot because it's, there's nothing there really to price check. I only got 276 Dark Arrowheads as the main drop really. So there we go, we've got my 183 Abyssal Demons. I'll be back when I'm done. Alrighty then, Abyssal Demons completed, managed to pick up a whip in the process, but um, we'll just open the price checker up and obviously price check the loot, and it comes to 242k, not too bad. Anyway, I'm going to head back, hand my contract in, and grab my next task. Alright then, let's test our look at more run now, hopefully it's something good, and 75 Glacials, sweet, so let's crack on with this task. And here we go, just to finish off my Glacial task. 2037 tasks in a row now, got managed to pick up 5 shards of Armadil, but I'm going to head back to Morvaran as we speak and open up the price checker, grab a new task, you know the drill. Anyway, let's obviously open up the price checker and add in the loot that I did get. Got a couple of Dragon Maces and then the noted drops as per usual. Um, so yeah, the total amounted to just over 500k, not too bad. Right then, new task time, hopefully he's kind to me, and we do get 180 Abyssal Demons, nice nice. Right then, so uh, just finished my Abyssal Demon task, got a uncut Dragonstone and, well, get a few uncut Dragonstones, but I did manage to pick up a shield left half as well. Total being almost 260k, that isn't too bad, oh, it is actually 282k, I missed out the pure Esther. Anyway, we're going to head back to Morvaran now, and we are going to do my daily Dark Beast task. And we do get 255 to kill. Not too bad. I'll see you when I finish that task. So there we go, guys. That is my Dark Beast task complete. My cannon did unfortunately decay halfway through that task because I just wasn't paying attention. I'm going to head back to uh, Morvran in the off city now, price check the loot, and grab our next task. This is the first task as well with the reworked drop table of Dark Beasts. So it'll be interesting to see how much this is compared to a normal or an old trip. So they now drop noted, noted Dwarf Weeds and Lance, um, which is straight up 390k, which is basically um, more than a whole task of the old loot. Um, so we're going to add in a few more items. I was lucky on this task as well by getting the Dark Bow and a Serenic Scale, but uh, nonetheless. They also drop um, Grammy Toad Flax as well, Noted, which is pretty nice. Um, so adding in the Dark Arrowheads, Serenic Scale and the Dark Bow with a total of 1.5 mil for that Dark Beast task, possibly a little bit more with the other rune chain bodies that I did bank. But yeah, that is um, my first Dark Beast task on the rework drop table, which, um, judging by the results, it isn't too bad to do Dark Beasts now. Um, you know, if you, if you want a little bit of uh, GP, before it was all about the XP, but now the uh, GP is pretty good. 
But anyway, I'm going to grab my next task and let's see what we get. 184 ice strike worms, not too bad of a task, haven't had this in a while, so I'm going to crack on with this one and hopefully we can get some more loot. And there we go guys, that is the ice strike worm task complete. Um, no sapphire lights unfortunately, but I'll price check what I have in my inventory so far. A couple of tooth halves and a loop half as well. A few ring of wealth drops such as the admin bolts and the big bones. And we'll just add the other noted items in here, which are the common ones from Ice Strike Worms, bringing the total to almost 700k. And yeah, that is also 2,040 tasks in a row, and we gain 100 points. But for now, guys, that is going to be my last task for today. I shall see you tomorrow when I grab my next task. So here we go with my first task of the morning with my. Dark Beast Helm, starting off with my daily Dark Beast task, 248 to kill, not too bad, I'll be back when I'm done. And here we go, just finished off my Dark Beast task. Very, It's very good now knowing that you can make a, quite a bit from Dark Beasts and that they are quite a nice profitable task as you will see. Here when I open up the price checker and add in all the loot, we got 100 noted silver ore as well which is a ring of wealth drop, um, you know, so that's not too bad either. Adding in the grimy herbs and the um, admin ore as well bringing it to a total of I think just over 1.3 mil or almost 1.3 mil we got a serenic scale as well and of course a dragon dagger but anyway you can grab my next task hopefully it's something good and uh, we get this special special assignment which yeah they're only worth doing for that first comp rec other than that they're not worth doing anymore so gladly skip that Special assignment and grab something different and we get to Zars. So I'm going to be going to the Fight Cauldron now and doing this task. And there we go, just finished off my Tazar task. Picked up all the gems and all the ores which do add up to quite an amount. Got myself two XP lamps as well for completing like the boss of the, uh, the Fight Cauldron. Anyway, I'm just going to add in the two obby items that I did get there. I think they're both mage staffs. Um, so just adding in the remaining items and it comes to about 315k. So anyway, I'm going to grab my next task, that being my daily Dark Beast task. So we get 180 to kill, I'll be back when I'm done. And here we go guys, just finished off my daily Dark Beast task. So uh, yeah, we got a Torstal Seed which is very nice and we got a few um, loop and tooth half of keys. And obviously the rune items to go along with them which I have obviously banked. Um, don't ask why the runes are in my inventory, I think they're just from the Fight Cauldron, I just did forget to bank them. Anyway, just going to head back to Morvara and open up the price checker and, uh, you know, price check the loot as usual and grab ourselves another task. But first, let's just see how much we made during that task. So obviously we added in the two from the Torstor Seed, first the Dark Arrowheads and then followed by the Noted Ore and the Herbs. So it should be a very decent amount again, yeah, around 600k, 607k, pretty sweet. Anyway, we're going to grab ourselves our next task, hopefully it's something decent. So I decided to get my daily Abyssal Demon task underway, got my Mask of the Abyss and I'm going to grab my Abbey Demons. So we get 264 to kill, very nice task, anyway I'll be back when I am done. So another Abyssal Demon task done, another task closer to 200 mil Slayer. Got myself a Triskelion fragment as well this task which is very nice, add that in the loot real quick before I hand in my contract. Picked up obviously all the noted items, we got some clean Snapdragons from the Ring of Wealth drop table and also some Admin Bolts. Total coming to around 560k, which is very nice. And we are back at Morvran. My good friend, hopefully he can give us something nice, and he gives us something shit like Water Fiends. That is going definitely on the skip list. So, yep, skip that task for definite, and hopefully he can, uh, you know, give us something better. Oh, Eretz, <laughs> he's made up for his earlier error. So, yep, let's crack on with this task. So then, just finished off this error task. No Razorback Gauntlet yet again. I am ordering like 3,000 dry at the moment, but I can't really complain. I've got like 13k error bones banked now, which is very nice, and it makes the tab look pretty sweet as well. So, um, just heading back to Morvran to do the daily stuff, you know, <laughs> price check the loot, and obviously grab our next task of the day. Let me just note these last few error bones and open up the price checker. So adding in the one rune spear, which um, is in my inventory, did bank a few more as well. Adding in the majority of the loot as well, like the bones and stuff, and it comes to two point, almost 2.2 .2 mil. Very nice task. Um, good for XP, obviously Slayer XP, Combat XP, and obviously good for cash as well. Anyway, our next task is Iron Dragons. I'll be back when I'm done with that. 
so then, Iron Dragons have been finished off. Um, we've got the loot in my inventory, you're going to obviously open up the price checker and price check all the stuff. All the battle staffs, the rune limbs, a few rune knives and darts that we got. Tooth half as well. So yeah, just generally really nothing to uh, shout about. Anyway, going to grab our next task. That being our daily Dark Beast task, get 199 to kill. I'll be back when I'm done. And here we are back at more Ryan Dark Beast finished. Got some nice loot to be honest, this task. Got 156 noted big bones. Um, we got a ceramic scale, a dark bow, and obviously the general loot that come into 1.3 mil. So very nice Dark Beast task right there. Anyway, you're going to grab our next one. That being 49 myth drags, not too bad. I'll be back when I'm done. So here we go, just finishing off the mithril dragons. Not too bad for charms and also rune items like rune bars, rune battle axes, and stuff like that. And no, I do not have a spring cleaner, hence why, um, you know, I don't bank the majority of the admin items and stuff like that. I'm not lucky enough to get a, a spring cleaner yet, um, like a few other people. But um, here we go, just adding in the final items into the price check. We're coming in 254k. Not too bad, gonna grab our next task and hopefully it's something good. So he's trying to give us the special assignment, which no thank you Morvran, I don't want your crappy assignments. Anyway, grabbing our next task, that being Iron Drags, I'll be back when I'm done guys. So here we go, Iron Dragons completed in four tasks, we've had three sets of dragons, two of them being Iron, one of them being Mithril and obviously the Dark Beasts in between. So there's been a lot of dragons today, um, not gonna complain, quick tasks quick XP um, and not too, not too bad uh, money either so um, gonna uh, grab our next task hopefully it's something good and to make demons sweet I'll be back when I'm done so TDs have been completed no luck unfortunately guys no D limbs no claws no armor shards I'm still yet, yet to get a pair of D limbs but um, you know I'm not gonna uh, moan about it so I'm still picking up everything as you can see in my inventory and picking up almost everything to make a demon's drop, preparing myself for a loot video, whether it be from 1000 kills or possibly 10,000 kills in the future when I'm done with Slayer. So adding in the loot comes to about 430k I believe, which wasn't too bad. Anyway, you're going to grab our next task, that being Crescent Automatons. Right then, I'll be back when I'm done. So there we go guys, that is 2051 tasks in a row. That's the Automatons complete, I'll just open up the price checker and add in the items that I picked up. A lot of noted items these do drop which they do add up quite well. No gloves this task though unfortunately or Kresbot so it brings a total of 625k. So this is going to be the end of episode 8 but before I do go I'm going to leave you with a stats update. We are now on 132 mil XP in Slayer which is awesome. Um, 184 mil hit points, 130 mil attack, um, 89.7 mil d defense and 142.8 mil range. So they're all coming up nicely and I'll pop on to my um, beast list as well and we'll go on to boss kills we are now on 2272 boss kills in total the majority from Dagonoth Kings and Zami boss of recent 712 Zami bosses um, and then we'll go on to the Slayer creature kills and we have a total of 21,197 we have 11,357 Dark Beasts and yeah, we have um, 3.5k Abyssal Demons and Errors. But other than that, guys, I'm gonna leave you. Um, I'm gonna leave you there with uh, the end of episode eight. So I hope you enjoy this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.